Oh, welcome back. So, uh, in a previous video, I did a quickie kind of uh, janky copper rope. Uh, didn't really know what I'm, I was doing. I've never made a rope before. And uh, I'm not really familiar with how ropes work in general. <laughs> but I was like, yeah, I can, if it's 3D, I can probably make it in SolidWorks. Because why couldn't I, unless it's just so complex that it kills SolidWorks, which... That rope would probably bring SolidWorks to its knees pretty quickly. Um, and even something like this, where it's, you know, a core that's spin spiraling around itself and then also spiraling around something else on top of that. Uh, and it's really hard to model to begin with, obviously, but on top of that, I think SolidWorks is just going to if it can handle it, it can't handle anything else in addition to it. So it's not much use to make something that you can't even put into an assembly without killing the assembly. Um, in fact, if I was if I was designing something with a rope myself, I would just make it as a tube and call it a day. Uh, make, make it look just like a tube, basically, without the, the rope. But maybe you want it to actually look like a rope for... Uh, showing to an investor or something like that. Uh, so I'm going to start, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to make a relatively simple rope, the, the 7 core. Because that, that SolidWorks can actually handle. The 19 core you could probably pull off if you know how the cores are lined out. Um, but the 7 core, I can be pretty sure SolidWorks can handle that. And I'm going to say each core is 2 millimeters because I have no idea uh, what I, I and everything looks like upon request. I don't even see a... I looked for a little bit and I didn't see anything about like a standard size table that they offer or anything like that. So I'm going to make a 7 core 2 millimeter per core rope. And it's going to follow this path. And I'm going to go in here into this part and delete this sweep. Delete this feature, delete this feature, and you can delete that. And I'm going to rename this to Rope Path. And I can delete my rope pattern, delete this circle here, pin normal to this, and I'm going to sketch on that plane. And I'm going to show my rope path so that I can put a point and make it a pierce point. That way I can hide my rope path again and go normal to this again. And then I can draw out my rope. Uh, so I think what they say is seven core, what they mean is one core in the middle and then six cores around the outside because I think that will line up about perfectly. So six cores, okay, drag it out a little bit, drag it out so that I can do a concentric. All right, so that looks about right, I think, pretty much, sort of. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to go on this plane again. I'm just going to take one of these. And I'm going to take that plus the rope path, do a swept boss, and let's see, we need, want to have some twist here. And let's see, we can do degrees, radians, or revolutions. And let's say it's. I have no idea what the twist rate on this rope is, but um, let's see how degrees works. Degrees, not so much. Let's say revolutions then. So yeah, it looks like degrees is just a part of one revolution. So let's say we measure this and it comes out to be 
two meters long, and they say it's uh, three twists per meter. So that's six revolutions. And click OK. And go on this plane again. Select the next one. And we can go in here and select our rope path like that. We will select boss. Don't want to merge result because if we try, it's going to fail because they're touching each other. So revolutions is six. And OK. And we're just going to repeat that process all going all the way around. So don't want to merge result. I want to specify. I want it to be revolutions of six. Okay. And just keep repeating that the whole way around. And don't want to merge. I want to specify a twist in revolutions of six. Couple more to do. Bert. And if you play with different setters in here, you could probably find other other tricks. Uh, just kind of making a quickie, see if I can do it kind of rope. <clears throat> Specify twist, I want six, and I don't want to merge. And then I need one more. This one I don't even have to twist because it's at the center. And rope path, select boss, merge result is off. Okay. So Maybe six isn't quite enough. Maybe it needs to be more than that. If I look back here. Oh, yeah. It looks like it definitely needs to be more than that. Because we can do it if we go back and edit this sketch. Uh, let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, five segments. So one, two, three, four. Uh, just fix this and make these horizontal vertical okay so I can make those equal I can make these equal make these equal make well that didn't didn't like that Right, so I can make these equal, and then make these equal. That's fully defined. So I'm going to make those four constructions. They don't interfere with anything else. And then I can take this, put a dimension on it, make it driven. Also make that for construction. So right now it's... 1650, wait, 1665.33. <clears throat> and if we look at this, I'm saying, I mean, if, if I figure that this is about, I mean, obviously there's no scale here, but I figure about 10 millimeters for one rotation. So 166. I'm not sure how happy SolidWorks will be if I try that, but uh, I'll give it a shot. Okay, it's definitely not happy because it needs to be a number under 100. Uh, so if we were doing a longer rope, we'd need to do it uh, in pieces, apparently. Well, 100, for, well, we'll say that it was... That's the right size. 
This is just kind of a visual guesstimate anyway. Yeah, let's just update all these one at a time. And this makes the geometry a lot more complex. So SolidWorks is already grinding to a halt on the third one. And yeah, it's having it's having a bad day right now. <laughs> Especially since we're on number four of six. The the last one isn't a doesn't have a twist, so it's not as bad. Yeah, so this is why I'm not doing uh, one of these because just well, a three times seven, just a seven chords having trouble with. It. Imagine a three times seven. And yeah, one more after this. That's how it's laid out. I can't see the end of this one. I think. I think that's a, oh, one in the middle there. Yeah, again, I'd have to to see what actual particular rope was involved. This is just a a rough idea of how you'd go about attacking the problem, not the final solution to the problem. And should be the last one. All right, and then this one is just straight through the center. All right, and if we hide this. So now, here's something that actually kind of looks like a, like a rope. And obviously we're not in like photo view or anything right now. But yeah, I think it looks, uh, Kind of like a, a wire rope. I... And obviously the pulley size is not right for this rope anymore. But yeah, pretty happy with that. At least as a, a proof of concept, could I do it? It turns out I think I can. So uh, yeah, uh, see you next time. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video.